The two investigators uncovering new details about the man suspected of murdering a family of four in Romeoville. CBS2 investigator Dave Savini is here with us. Dave, you've discovered past problems which raise questions about how Nathaniel right. Huey got a hold of guns. Erica, we found Nathaniel Huey's criminal past should have been a big red flag, including a court order banning him from possessing firearms. He also had a security company that we uncovered had no license to operate in the state of Illinois. And the woman he was with as he fled the state may have been his final victim. The man at the center of the mass murder of a Romeoville family, Nathaniel Huey, is now dead after a police chase in Oklahoma that ended in a fiery crash. Police say after the crash, they heard what sounded like gunshots from inside the car. Huey was dead at the scene, and the female in his car, described on Huey's Facebook page as his wife, died later at a nearby hospital. That woman, 50-year-old Irma Linda Palomo of Streamwood, had been reported missing by her family on Tuesday. Palomo's family says she was only engaged to Huey, and she had five children and five grandchildren of her own. An attorney for her family says she was upset when Huey picked her up and left with her in his car. She was saying things such as, tell everyone I love them, um, you know, take care of my grandbabies. The attorney for the family says Palomo was not present at the killings in Romeoville. And when it comes to Huey, he had been on police radar for years. The CBS2 investigators uncovered one court document from 2017 stating he was to refrain from possessing a firearm or other dangerous weapons. That order came after a history of numerous arrests, including a 2016 battery and multiple DUIs, including an aggravated DUI in 2017. In that case, we found he spent at least 30 days in Cook County Jail. Then he was put on house arrest, followed by probation for two years. But on Huey's Facebook page, he publicly flaunted his arsenal of weapons, trying to get people to hire his security company called Black Bear Security. We found despite his record, he continued to have guns. We also found that company was never licensed by the Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation. Well, that's awful. The attorney says police have not told the Palomo family many details yet. As far as for her death, um, it's been ruled a homicide. The attorney says her family believes Huey may have worked with Alberto Bartolome. He was killed along with his wife and their seven and nine-year-old sons, students from Robert Hill Elementary. The family is in shock and grieving. We also learned Huey had three young children of his own. They live with their mother. She says he has not seen them in over a year, Erica. All right. So sad. It is. Thank you, Dave, for those new details.